again and you're like what and i'm like your dad came onto the mic asking me who i was and how i knew you that was really awkward because i barely knew how to speak spanish yeah at the time i didn't even know my dad got on the mic yeah it wasn't until he came back that i told you and you were like what and i was like yeah he came onto the mic i don't know if it was unmuted or not but he just came onto the mic and it was it's really so awkward because i was just like i was like i did not expect to have to do this but here we go. Let, let me try my best in Spanish. Man. Dude, I, I still remember that fresh in my brain. Cause I'll never forget almost freezing up when I just heard him come onto the mic. And I was like, oh, no. Especially because Brian wasn't there to help me. He, he wasn't there. So I was like, oh, I got to do this on my own. I wonder if there are any other memorable moments that were online. Uh, hmm. Well, they're not moments, but I know uh, two phrases that are memorable with you and playing online. And that, and those two phrases are, first one. Oh, let's invite Dom, and th- this only applies to middle school you because for some reason. High school, you completely changed from this, but middle school, you was oh, let's invite Dom to play. Oh, no, nah, he's watching YouTube. Hasn't he been watching YouTube since the morning, like at nine o'clock? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, but he's still watching YouTube. No, and but that was because I, I know it was because you couldn't play till what, like after 12? Yes, around there. But then there would be times where you were still on YouTube after 12, and we were just like, what is he doing on YouTube for that long? But there's that one, and the second one, which my dad, as you know, knows you through this. And that is, all right, guys, got to get off. Dom, why are you getting off so early? Oh, I got to get off. Adrian's bored. Oh, man. That was literally the phrase that defined Dominic from middle school all the way to even high school was, got to get off, guys. Adrian's bored. No, but at, at the time, it was because, like, my my brother wanted to play it, right? But then he would tell my parents that, you know, I was hogging the controller all day. So then I was pretty much, you know... You were forced to give it up. To, to get off so that he could get off. Yeah, but that one phrase is just how you were known by, by everyone, essentially. Anyone that came into contact with you. Anytime, like, especially because, like, years after, even when, like, he would stop essentially, like, bugging you. You would be like, whenever you would say you were going to get off, everyone would immediately go, is it because Adrian's bored? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. And it's to the point where even my dad knew you by that. Like, anytime uh, my dad would ask, oh, like, what happened? I'd be like, oh, everyone got off. And he would go, he would go, did Dominic get off because Adrian was bored? Like, oh, my gosh, dude. That one phrase. Like, you want to talk about memorable, that. Uh, essentially, almost everyone that played with us from middle school to like the first two years of high school knew you by that. Was just getting off because your brother was bored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's any other that I remember. I don't know. You remember anything from me? From you? Hmm. There must have been this one moment that I completely forgot about. That was completely hilarious. What was it? Uh, no, nothing that I can remember of, unfortunately. Hmm. What about any other friends that might potentially hear this? You want you want to hear my memory of Oscar that I was explaining well, well. before this? My first memory of Oscar was uh, I think it was Hector. Who introduced me to him? Because I know him and Hector were like good friends at the time in middle school. And in his words, oh yeah, this is Oscar. He likes Cheez Its. He says it's Oscar staring off into the distance eating Cheez Its. And that's all I knew Oscar by because every single day we just walk in for lunch eating Cheez Its and nothing more. Oh man. That's literally my first memory of Oscar. <laughs> But so now I, I can't remember Oscars with like my first time meeting him. You wanna know what's sad I, though? I, 
what? Because of all the jokes in recent years, now if you were to ask me what's the most memorable thing about Oscar, I would say his asthma. Oh, dude. I remember dude, that. Dude, I'll never forget. <laughs> we're so mean, dude. This man, Oscar, was volunteering to, like, come help us, help out the students that were in pre cal for the summer since he had already taken it the year before. And this man took a day off because he went to, like, Six Flags with, like, his family or something. And we all immediately, when he came back the next day, we all were immediately roasting him for a parent. Like, we were saying, oh, bro, like, were you having an asthma attack on the roller coaster? <laughs> and we were, like, just made fun. We're like, bro, did you have to, like, pull out the, the inhaler, like, halfway through the ride while you were screaming? Like, we were so mean to him, dude. Like, oh, my gosh. But, you know. Oscar's a champ at taking jokes. Oscar's been taking jokes since middle school. And he'll dish them back like twice as hard at you. That's true, that's true. What about some other friends? Let me think. What was your first memory of Diego? Because you met Diego through me. You You met him through me. But I never met him. The first time I met him was through online, but it was never in person. And I think it was through uh, either Minecraft or Black Ops. Mm. I think. Yeah, those two games. What was your? I, fir- I remember hearing his voice for the first time uh, joining you, and I think it was during Black Ops. Most definitely during Black Ops. What did you think about him when you met him in person? Cause, in person, because unlike the- unlike a lot of of us, you know, us uh, Hispanics, or at least the average Hispanic. He was tall, especially for he his age tall. and continuing on each and every year. He was freaking getting taller and taller. So what was like your yeah. first impression when you met him? At the time, I mean, not the time, I mean, I still, he was, he was, he's a cool dude. And at the first time seeing him, you know, seeing how tall he was compared to you. Oh, yeah, because you thought I was pretty tall at the time. And I was like, wait till yeah. you see Diego. Yeah, wait. How, how tall are you two compared? I'm like, about equal. I'm about five ten and a half. I think Diego. Honestly, I Diego's past six feet. He has to be at least six one, six two. No way. He's that tall. Cause like he he still like essentially towers over me by a. It's not even a bit. Like it's still a generous amount. Right, right, right. So like he has to at least be at the very least six one. Like I, I will not believe anything else other than six one for him. And the same goes for the same goes for Eddie too. I think Eddie's at least six feet or getting there. Yes, that that is true. Yes. Like I, you remember when we invited Eddie for the first time, you met Diego. How shocked Eddie was because of how tall Diego was. Oh, like yeah. Eddie thought he was the tallest of the group, and then he met Diego, and he was just thrown off because he was like, he like basically Eddie was known for being the tallest because, like I said, Eddie's almost freaking five eleven, six feet that height, you know. And the next yeah. thing you know, he he runs into, he finally meets Diego, who he's like is, is met through online as well, and boom, Diego's like six foot one, and he just threw Eddie so off guard. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh man! I think there are some memories that come to mind. Uh, back in eighth grade, like what? Like uh, in Mr. Wright's music room. Hmm. I remember that you got uh, music for the first time. Yeah, I, but I wonder why that late. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'll never forget uh, seventh grade. How much you were freaking trying to get out of the remedial math class despite. Oh. Passing oh. that one and your regular math class, and yet they still wouldn't take you out. Yeah, and I okay. I'll be honest. I think I might have been dumb at the time. Like, for some reason, I still don't know why I wasn't put out. Either it was either it was because I was getting bad grades in math, or how do you call it? They just simply didn't want me out. Because I remember there was other students who were able to go to other classes, like Mr. Sarmiento's like tech class. Yeah, like, like robotics class, I think it was. Yeah, like I wanted to do that, but it never did. Yeah, it wasn't until eighth grade that they put you in music. Yeah, I and mean, that was like the first time I actually ever got to go into that room, which kind of felt weird. 
But it felt pretty, you know, relaxing, I guess. Uh, this is going to sound stupid, Jack, but have you ever seen the YouTube channel of Avista? Yeah, like back then, yeah, I haven't seen it now. You should see it now, dude. There's like some absolute historic relics in there. I know uh, a common thing for us in high school was going to the old website and looking at our old photos that they had of us. I think they're still there. I might be wrong. They might still be there. I know that's where we got Oscar's iconic photo of like him walking off the stage. Oh, yes. Oh, man. I'll never forget that. Oh, dude. We can't talk about memories without talking about what was our end of the year tradition. Going to Tommy's. Mm hmm. Oh, man. And guess what? Because of COVID, we couldn't do it last year. That is true. We never did. That was the first year ever since then. We did it sixth grade when we went with who was it? Raymond and Brian? Yeah, I think there's an entire picture. Well, no, sixth grade year, it was just you, me, Raymond, and Brian. Then seventh grade, that's where we have the picture. It was you, me, Brian, Gerard, Caesar, and I think Raymond. That was six people. I think so, yeah. And then eighth grade, because of how much of a line there was, we kind of split it between who was going to Tommy's and who was going to Taco Bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then ninth grade, it was just me. And, actually, ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade, it was just me and you. Like, dude, that that's definitely a memory is me and you always doing that and then having someone, whether it was ourselves or someone else, take a picture of us. But I wonder who took that picture. Was it you? My mom, probably. Like the, the, like the middle school ones, it was probably my mom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The, the ones in 9th, 10th, and 11th grade. I think 9th grade and 10th grade, we propped up the camera against something and took our photo. And I remember 11th grade, we ran into Jason and we were like, hey, yo, Jason, can you take a picture of us real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, and like in exchange, because like you didn't want to waste the like, rest of your food you had, you're like, hey, yo, Jason, in exchange, you want the rest of my food? Yes, I remember. Oh, man. I think what's also memorable was... My uh, hairstyle back then? Oh, the mohawk. The mohawk. Or the fox hog, I used to call it. Mm-hmm. But I don't know why, but I was like the only student who wore, who had a, a basically, you know, a mohawk the whole time. Yeah, and a lot time, of kids cut their really cool. But I, I just don't know why I kept with it. I think it wasn't until like, what, 11th grade that you realized... To go away with it just because it had been a while since you cut your hair. And so it was like super over the top. Essentially, yeah. like it was like so high up. At least the front of it was. And then yeah, like yeah, yeah. you got so tired of putting gel that you would just show up with it regularly. And you were like, hey, this hairstyle fits. Yeah. Oh, man. We got a minute 30 left. We got to wrap it up. Oh, no. All right. So. We hope you all enjoyed essentially this nostalgia trip with us. Uh, I've been your host, Jack. I've been Dom. We want to thank you all for joining us for another episode. As always, the door is open to anyone and everyone who wants to come in and discuss with us anything and everything. And, you know, as always, we thank you all for joining us for another episode of the Rule 34 podcast. And remember, if it exists, we have an opinion on it. Thank you all for joining, and we'll see you in the next episode.